Metro Police have a dangerous and sometimes a pretty gruesome job. Time after time, they have to search through bloody crime scenes looking for clues. But more often than not, the bloody scene is the clue they're looking for. Crime team reporter Dave Malkoff joins us now to explain. Yeah, we've been working on this story for quite a while, and what we're about to show you is real human blood. It may make some people uneasy, but it is the way that murders are solved here in Las Vegas. Tonight, the crime team looks at the science of murder. A violent death, a bloody murder. Bloodstains on the wall are far from a random spattering. There's many different ways to solve murder cases. Sometimes the dead speak in a macabre tongue. The blood talks through a science called blood spatter analysis, an extremely rare police discipline. Currently, throughout the world, there are 21 individuals who are certified. And out of those 21, there are four in Las Vegas that work for Metro. And that there's blood in this water. Daniel Holstein and Joe Manfay are two of the four. They spent a long time studying for this certification and a long time experimenting. These experiments won't work with just red paint or animal blood. You're dealing with the murder investigation here. It's got to be authentic. Other bloods are similar, but they're not necessarily the same. The surface tension, the viscosity, there might be other areas within the blood that will not be consistent with human blood. So they use real human blood. Blood that Daniel draws from his family and friends. Co-workers, myself, family, whoever I can get it from. This experiment required one more volunteer. Although this blood has been tested so that we know there's nothing wrong with it, sure. we do want to take some standard safety precautions. Real human blood on the sponge. A simulated crime on the wall. The blood has been forced from the sponge onto the wall. As the blood begins to separate, the story comes together. This is consistent with what we call medium velocity forceful impact spatter. From the stain and the stain alone, they know that the murder weapon was a blunt instrument. You can see this blood here, you can see that it's somewhat elongated and that there are tails on portions of the blood. You'll see that here, the tail is actually the direction that the blood is going. Even if the body has been moved in some way, the experts can reconstruct the crime, either through a mathematical equation or... Um, this is a good one. Through a method called stringing. Things, that is the position of the victim and the assailant at the time of bloodletting. They can even tell the difference between a murderer who walked away. You can see that the blood drops are, for the most part, circular in nature. And that's because he was moving at a slow speed. And a murderer who took off running, leaving spiny edges to his blood trail. They don't even have to actually see the blood to know it's there. We use what's called luminol. Can we shuffle it? And out of the darkness, a crime presents itself. What once appeared to be a clean towel is now glowing as a dull blue-green clue, answering murderous questions. Was the body moved? Was there some type of force? Maybe the object was dropped on the ground. Or maybe a murderer oh, tried to clean his tracks. Sparkling. Just try it. It only creates more glowing right. evidence. All that sparkling is showing that there has been cleaned, and possibly with such as a bleach or some form of a cleanser, and this is very indicative of that the crime scene has been cleaned up. A similar technique works for bloody footprints. So Daniel is going to apply some human blood to the bottom, the tread or outsole portion of Mr. Malkoff's boot. The first bloody footprint is easy to see. The last, not so easy. This spray reacts with the iron in blood. The faint blood impression of the footwear pattern is greatly enhanced. Metro's crime scene investigators are constantly striving to gain more knowledge every day. But my, the bottom line is here is I'm, I'm here to assist and help determine the truth and the facts of the case. Blood on the wall of crime scene never lies. Once you know its language, it speaks volumes. It has a story to tell. The challenge for us is to identify the physical evidence at the crime scene and determine what that evidence has to tell us.
And you know that evidence solves murders almost every week here in Las Vegas. In fact, we all remember the Margaret Rudin millionaire murder case. Well, that bloodstained evidence in the bedroom actually helped convict Margaret Rudin of her husband's murder. So that's this science put into practical use. This is so interesting, it's isn't it? It yeah, really yeah. is. You can really get into it. Now, four people in, in Nevada that do it, yeah. 21 in the entire world? Is yeah, that right? four, four people right here at Metro. Yeah, 21 wow. in the entire world. In fact, uh, a couple of those people who are with Metro are certified to teach other people in the world how to do this. And other police agencies anywhere in the world can learn from Metro right here. So